Hi and welcome to Free Video Hub. Today we learn how can we install Ubuntu, which is the latest version 23.04 on VMware Workstation Professional. Um, this is the latest release on their website. In order to download it, you'll click on download and it would download a version on your machine. Later we'll be covering how can we install Snort on it that would be covered in the video followed by this one and then we'll try to understand that how can we set up different rules on it but at the moment we'll be learning how can we install ubuntu 23.04 now as you can see we are there on our vmware workstation professional version 17 and then i'll have to create the virtual machine i'll click on this one but it's a bit different this time as we install rest of the operating systems because if you'll go with the recommended settings you'll end up having some issues so i'll go with custom i'll press next i'll keep the settings as it is then i'll press next and i'll not select the iso file over here um, if you'll select it here and you'll continue I'm telling you you'll have some issues so I'll skip this part at the moment I'll click the option that I'll install the operating system later and then press next here as you can see it is already selecting the Linux operating system and Ubuntu 64 bit press next um, give the path of your virtual machine where you want to install it and press next you can define the number of processors you want to assign to this virtual machine I'll go with the default configuration I'm not even changing the RAM I'm going with the default recommendations and then I'll not change anything over here press next press next and I'll uh, create a new virtual disk and instead of 20 GB I'll assign 25 GB to this one and then press next and finish now once we have uh, completed all these steps now I'll go to edit virtual machine settings and now I'll select the ISO file that I would like to attach to this virtual machine so that we can start the installation process if we'll go with the default uh, uh, setup it would install the live version of Ubuntu you'll not be able to install it manually as we configure rest of the options so now in order to select the ISO file I'll select this one then I'll go to the ISO image and I'll select my ISO file as you can see I have selected the latest version 23.04 version and then I'll press OK and I'll start my virtual machine. In this one you'll have to select the first version which is try or install Ubuntu.
as you can see it has been successfully installed and uh, let's try to go to the terminal and uh, try to enter the details for example sudo su and try to enter the password that we provided at the time of installation and if you want to check the IP address of it I'll type in if config and I'm sure it's not installed so it would ask me that I'll have to install it separately so as it's shown up here you can copy the same command from here and uh, you can paste it over here and install it so it would install it and it would install the tools that is just told me that it has found some updates press enter and it would install the if config feature on this one so that we can check the IP address of the machine so now if I enter if config it would show me that the IP address of my machine is 137 192.168.189.137 now in addition to that we need certain tools in order to edit the uh, text files etc so in order to install that we'll type sudo then we'll type apt cat and install the first tool we want to install is vim and uh, continue with the default setup of it so once that's done now we'll try to install another tool which is gedit to edit the notepad files etc and the last one that I would like to install is a tool to get the admin access to uh, lots of things so I'll install Nautilus and uh, minus Y so it's saying that it is already installed on it now the last thing I would like to install on it would be the VM tool so let's try to install it with uh, sudo apt install open VM tools and now it would install the VM tools which are required so that we can have the copy paste feature and other things enabled on this one and as you can see it has even added the graphics driver over here so now we'll restart it just to make sure that everything is applied successfully so that was a simple tutorial on how can we install ubuntu the latest version on our machine that's it for today thank you very much